All praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Baal Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baal Shem, Kodash. Shalom to the Lord's elect. Once again, it's another video. Hopefully, it's edifying to you brothers and your sisters out there of the household of faith. So, in this video, I'm going to be reacting to a video that was put up by um, Elder Yahweh Kanan. He comes out of uh, London, England. Uh, this is the video that he put up. Uh, IUIC Bishop Nate. MOTB, which is an acronym for Mark of the Beast, is not the microchip, but he says, don't get the microchip. So there's a, I watched the whole video earlier today, and the part I, I wanted to react to is around the 34th minute. So without further ado, by the way, his channel is GMS Babylon Has Fallen, and I'll put the link in the description box to this video so you can go check out the video and be edified. Also, you know, um, you should really subscribe to, if you haven't, you brothers and sisters out there, you should subscribe to this, to this brother, this elder, right? And, um, and uh, be edified, because he, he does edifying videos, okay? So, uh, shalom to that brother, Elder Yahweh Kanan. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. Yeah, it says Revelation 16 and 1. It says, And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the vials of the wrath of Yahweh upon the earth, which is the judgment, right? And the yeah. first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast. So everyone yeah. that's sinning, right, is at some point going to get this grievous noise, according to Bishop Nathaniel. Right. Every Right. Now, let me bring that back again, because that's very important, what he just said there. Because Bishop Nathaniel says that the mark of the beast is sin. That's what the mark of the beast is, sin. I mean, we say that according to uh, the scripture in Revelation 13, 16, the mark of the beast is talking about an electronic device that's, that will be put inside of you, as in the RFID chip. Because when you go in the Greek word, which, by the way, Bishop Nathaniel does not do, he does not do, he does not go to the Greek word there in Revelation 13, 16, which is chiragma. Some say karagma, uh, some say chiragma, right? Either or, karagma, chiragma. That's the Greek word there for mark in Revelation 13, 16. Now, Bishop Nathaniel does not go to the actual scripture and look up the word in the Greek to get the true understanding or the correct message of what that scripture is saying revelation 13 16 all right he just simply says the mark is sin and he and there's this precept he brings out i think it's in job somewhere and it it, it mentions um uh, you have been marked by sin something like that but the point is for you to get the correct understanding of revelation 13 16 you have to go to the the original Greek word that's there to get the understanding of what that mark actually is. And it's a chiragma, which means a thing inserted. Okay? So, based on what Elder Yahweh Kanan said, right? Based on what Elder Yahweh Kanan said after reading uh, uh, Revelation 16, that Everyone who gets this mark of the beast will, will get this grievous sore. So if the mark of the beast is sin, then we're supposed to get a grievous sore because all of us have sinned. As it is written, all have sinned and come short of the glory of the Heavenly Father. All of us have sinned and we continually sin because we're in sinful bodies. So if the mark of the beast, if, if according to um, the scripture, Revelation 16 According to the judgment, you're supposed to get a grievous saw, right? <laughs> so, once again, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense what Bishop Nathaniel is saying, that the mark of the beast is sin, because according to Revelation 16, they that take the mark of the beast will get this grievous saw, okay? And um, let me bring it back, and let's listen to that again. It's Revelation 16, I want. Yeah, it says Revelation 16 and 1. It says, And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying to the seven angels, Go your ways and pour out the vials of the wrath of Yahweh upon the earth, which is mm -hmm. the judgment, right? The judgment. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men 
which had the mark of the beast. There fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast. Now, if you apply how we break it down, which is that RFID chip, there are articles out there that say that if you take this chip, you, 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 you're more likely to get the chip, which is the RFID chip. If you get it inserted in your hand, um, you know, you're more likely to get this cancerous sore. Okay, you're, you're more likely to get this cancerous sore because that chip is powered by radiation. All right, and you, you know, your body is continually, uh, or the radiation is, is uh, continually affecting your body. Okay, the radiation is continually affecting your body. So you break out with this sore, and the sore is full of pus. And that's what the scripture is talking about right here. A grievous sore. Okay? As a matter of fact, let me uh, type in this for you. RFID chip in hand. RFID chip implant in hand causes painful now you see here it says causes cancer but we'll we'll write causes painful sore okay or oh, painful sores and let's see what comes up uh the first site that comes up is Nas national institutes of health Biohackers and self-made problems, infection of an implanted RFID NFC chip, a case report. Uh, 2020, um, it says, we described the case of a 26-year-old man with an infected RFID uh, NFC, which is near field communication chip in the middle finger. Okay. Uh, what are the side effects of microchips in humans? Infection. Okay. Infection. Infection has been cited as a source of failure with RFID and related microchip implanted individuals either due to improper implantation uh, techniques implant rejections or corrosion of implant elements mris corrosion cancer risks cancer risk now when you go to you go to Revelation 16, Revelation 16, we're going to look up the Greek word there for saw. So like Elder Yahweh Conan said, the, the, uh, that represents judgment, because when you read the first verse, and I heard a great voice out of the temple saying to the seven angels, go your ways and pour out the vials of the wrath of the Heavenly Father upon the earth. And like he said, that's judgment. So Here's the judgment for those that take that RFID chip, that RFID implant. And the first went and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast, and upon them which worship his image. So now if we go into the... Um, matter of fact, let's read that in the NLT. Let's see what that says. So the first angel left the temple and poured out his bowl on the earth, which is symbolic, and horrible malignant sores broke out on everyone who had the mark of the beast and who worship his statue. Now, according to Bishop Nathaniel, if the mark of the beast is sin, right, then all of us are susceptible to get these horrible malignant sores. And, and, and uh, another definition for the word cancer is a malignant sore. Okay, that's what cancer is, a malignant sore. Now, um, um, we're going to look up the word sore. I believe the word there in the Hebrew is helkos. 
if I'm not mistaken. Okay, oh, actually it's Elkos. But, well, no, Helkos, that's how you pronounce it. Let's listen to the pronunciation. Strong's G, 1668, Helkos. Helkos. And that's for the Greek word for sore. And that's part of the judgment for those that receive that mark, which is the RFID chip. Okay, that's the correct breakdown for it. It says a wound, especially a wound producing a discharge, pus, a sore, an ulcer, like cancer. Okay, like cancer. All right. Um, now let's go to the... Uh, information from google let's see what we so far we've looked up what are the side effects of microchips in humans and um one of the side effects is cancer risks right and infection but let's see if we can dig a little deeper uh what are the issues of microchip implants okay um doesn't say much here Okay, this is from Quora. Is there lithium in an RFID chip? If it leaks out, will it cause a grievous sore? Let's see what that says. April 1st, 2021, human implantation or ingestion of RFID chips is not intended or is not intended or advised. If an active RFID chip chip breaks under the skin, Will a grievous sore? Let's read some more of that. All right. Um, oh, look at that, man. Look at that. Uh, it says it has a better chance of setting you on fire if it if it has a problem. If you fall, and remember th those chips are powered by lithium okay um, if you fall a little too hard on it it can blow up if the temperature is a bit too hot you can blow up if it leaks you expose yourself to toxic chemicals that can kill your kidney and cause brain damage okay I'm just I'm scanning over what, what's said here. I'll make sure it's not disinformation. So that's from uh, uh, that's from this individual here, Georgia. Okay. Now. This one says uh, RFID chips do not contain lithium. They are typically made of silicon and other non-toxic materials. There is no risk of a grievous sore from RFID chip chip leaking lithium. Well, that's what that person says. So we have one person who says one thing and another person who says something else. This, this uh, individual here says, no leaking RFID chips are not, no, leaking RFID chips are not why people have sores in Revelation. <laughs> RFID parts of this of the sort you could implant in an animal do not have batteries. They cannot track you. 
they can't store all your banking data. Well, that's what this individual says. You know, for a fact, those trap those chips can be used to track people. That's why uh, Aaron Russo told um, Alex Jones they want everyone chip, and he got that information from uh, from uh, Nick Rockefeller. Okay, we, we were not created to have no no uh, chips being put inside of us, especially chips that are powered by uh, or are powered radioactively. Okay, let me go back to Google and see what we can... Uh, Okay, this is from November twenty, November seventeenth, twenty twenty. This is from California Broadband Broadband Council. Ashley Johnson submitted written public comment. The doctor responded that if the microchip broke inside a human body, the lithium would cause a severe and painful wound filled with pus. Okay, I'm not really gonna I'm not really gonna download that. Alright, um uh, how to destroy a microchip that's inside you. May twenty seventh, twenty twenty one. It's hypoallergenic. So it doesn't cause a rash or a blister or bad, uh, etc. So as you can clearly see, there's information and disinformation. Now I know a while back I saw an article where People were complaining about um, their hands being infected that had gotten the micro, the RFID microchips. The dangers of microchip implants, implanted devices cannot use battery powers, they cannot be physically accessed once implanted. Uh, implantable RFID chips, humans, reasons and examples. Peter Junson, it still felt a bit sore. Uh, what had happened, there is now an uh, NFC, that's another way of saying RFID. Uh, near field communication, I believe that means. Uh, there is now an NFC chip between the thumb and index finger of my hand. He says it felt a, 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 a bit sore. All right, so you know what? We're going to type in does, does RFID chips create painful sores? See what comes up. Does RFID chips? Here you go. Does RFID chip implant in hand cause painful sores? Let's see what comes up. Well, pretty much. I um. That was the same site that came up. Yeah, pretty much the same. The same sites are coming up. Well, we know the scriptures don't lie. The scriptures say if you take this RFID chip, you susceptible to causing. You susceptible to get infected.
Uh, the implant is not pal palpa palpable, does not migrate, and has no physical side effects such as itching, irritation, or, or changes in skin appearance. Like I said, there's a lot of disinformation out there. Let me type in one more thing. Microchip causes cancer. Microchip causes cancer. First, based on our review of the studies, the risk that your animal will develop cancer due to microchip is very, very low <laughs> and is far outweighed by etc. A microchip safe for humans. Uh, for example, it could be beneficial for non-compliant patients, but still possesses great risks for potential misuse of the device. Microchip causes cancer in humans. Type that in. Well, look at this now. In 2004, after investigating microchipping, the Food and Drug Administration found the process to be safe enough for use in humans and animals. However, since the 1990s, studies have shown evidence that microchips cause cancerous tumors to develop in rats and mice. And I can see they're trying to keep that information, they're trying to keep it hidden, that indeed microchips, because that's what the top wicked elite want. They want everyone chipped. So they're trying to keep that information hidden that these chips eventually will, will cause a cancerous outbreak on your skin, just like the Bible says. The grievous sore, that's part of the heavenly, like you heard Elder Yahweh Khan said, that's part of the heavenly father's judgment. Uh, this is from NBC News, medical microchip for people may cause cancer. And this is from a what? A, a 1998 study in Ridgeville, Connecticut. 177 mice reported cancer. Now if that study is true, then that's not a coincidence. The, the chip had to be blamed. Effects of radiation from a ra radio frequency identification microchip on human cancer cells. Cancer fears raised over chip implants, ABC News, the Walt Disney Company. Dated September 9th, <clears throat> 2007. So the information is out there. Okay. This is from DrAndyRock.com. Microchips cause cancer and the war for truth. You have to read that to see what that's saying. I'm just scanning the, the headlines. All right, report uh, New York Times, report of cancer hurts maker of chip implants. And like I said, I think they're trying to keep that information on the hush-hush. Chip claims, chip claim, this is from Pet Care Clinic, chip claim gets under oncologist's skin. And this site says there's no evidence that cancer is, problem. cancer is a problem in microchip pets. But some say it, it, it's a major problem, some say it's not. See what I'm saying? Information and disinformation. Skip the chip, RFIDs could cause cancer. That's from uh, Wired. Uh, this is from uh, Medical Device Diagnostic Industry. Could a microchip implant cause cancer? It's possible 
according to a series of studies from the mid-1990s. And it looks like they're trying to keep that on the hush-hush. The RFID chip manufactured, manufactured by Verichip. Like I said, I'm just reading the headlines. Uh, this is from Los Angeles Daily News. Microchips may cause human cancer, critics say, cite an animal test. Remember that one site said over 177 animals got cancer from having those chips implanted in them. And they, they not too long ago, in the early 90s, they were chip, microchipping pets. Uh, basically, to, to, um, uh, it was like a forerunner for humans. They wanted to see what would happen uh, if, if we put a, a microchip in a living organism, like a pet. And a lot of those pets came down with cancer. Now they're trying to hide that information. Microchips, this is from Parker Work, Workman. Microchips cause cancer in animals. So, let's go back to the scripture and we're going to go back to the video. Revelation, 6, Revelation 16 and 2. And the first went out and poured out his vial upon the earth, and there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast. So, yes, it's a sin to take the mark of the beast, but the mark of the beast itself is not sin. Because if that's the case, we're supposed to get this grievous, noisome and grievous sore for taking that mark of the beast. It's an actual device they're going to put in you. And that's what causes that noisome and grievous sore. But I just showed you some articles saying that indeed uh, one could catch cancer from having that chip implanted in them. And that's your noisome and grievous sore. That's what cancer is. It's nothing but a grievous and noisome sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worship his image. So uh, once again, Bishop Nathaniel has a lot of explaining to do or explaining to do concerning Revelation 16 and 2. What is meant by a noisome and grievous sore upon the, those that had the mark of the beast? If that's sin, then uh, if that's sin, then why hasn't that person who doesn't have a, a microchip, why hasn't he received a noisome and grievous sore? Because all of us have sinned. The scripture says that all of us have sinned and come short of the glory of the Heavenly Father. We continually sin. Every day we sin. The, the Bible says even a foolish thought with the Heavenly Father is sin. So wait a minute, if a, if a brother has a foolish thought, he's, he's susceptible to get a noisome and grievous sore. <laughs> hey man, Bishop Nathaniel, man, he got a lot of explaining to do. Let's get back to the video. Let's get back to the video. Which had the mark of the beast. So everyone that's sinning, right, is at some point going to get this grievous no, it's according to Bishop Nathaniel. Everyone that's sinning is some at some point going to get a, a noisome and grievous sore upon them, right? Because he's saying it's sin, right? So it says, And there fell a noisome and grievous sore upon the men which had the mark of the beast and upon them which worship his image, right? And so everyone that's sinning should have this noisome and grievous sore upon them, right? That's the first point, right? We go to the Revelations 15. Now, Revelations 14, I believe I want. Hold on. 14 and 10. Okay. Doomed to the worshippers of the beast. And the third angel followed them, saying, Revelations 14 and 9. And the third angel followed them, saying, with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark, which he's saying is sin, in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of Yahweh. What's the wrath of Yahweh? That's the destruction, the judgment, right? which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation and shall be tormented with fire and brimstone, which is the nuclear destruction in Babylon, the great America, and anywhere else where a nuclear missile will be hit. But this is primarily talking about America, Babylon, the great, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb and the smoke of their torment is sent up forever and ever. And they have no rest. So not, only the uh, nuclear missiles, but the chariots of the Lord too. Because remember, Yahweh is coming to bring judgment 
you're going to kill a lot of people within those chariots. All right. Isaiah 66, 15. Behold, the Lord cometh with clouds. Um, how's it go? Um, uh, let, let me just get it. Isaiah 66 and 15. So once again, that's a judgment for, for those that take the mark of the beast. So if the mark of the beast is sin, all of us are going to get blasted by that judgment. Okay. No, the mark of the beast is uh, specific. It's specific specific a hard word to say sometimes the mark of the beast is specific all right specific <laughs> and you clearly see that when you go into the greek word for for the word mark in revelation 13 16 you'll see it's a specific device uh isaiah 66 15 for behold the lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind right that's Another form of judgment for those that take that mark of the beast, which is that RFID chip. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to rend his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh, especially those that take that chip. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. There you go. And that's pursuant to Revelation 14, 9 and 10, which is the judgment for those that take the mark of the beast. Let's get back to the video. <laughs> no rest day or night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receive the mark of his name so you're going to go up in nuclear destruction in babylon the great the united states of america all right and anywhere else where you're that those are people that are taking the mark are going to be destroyed right. but the destruction is talking about america all right so basically for those of you that take the mark your judgment is death so if the mark was sin and right. we've all sinned, right. then we've all got no we've all got no chance, family. We're all gonna die. Right. And this is what he wants you to believe. Right. That right. we're all gonna die. But just like what Apostle Paul says here, he says, Now if I do that, I would not. It is no more me. It's no more I that do it, but sin that dwelleth in me. Right. Sin dwelleth in all of us. In, 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 our, in our sinful flesh. It dwells in all of us. And that's why we have to be changed in the twinkling of an eye. So if the mark of the beast is sin, then all of us, we got the mark of the beast. And we're susceptible to get that grievous, that noisome, grievous sore that is written in Revelation 16, part of the judgment. And we're also susceptible to get blasted by, by either them nuclear missiles or them chariots. This is a form of judgment. So it doesn't make sense what Bishop Nathaniel is saying. It does not make any sense saying that the mark of the beast is sin. Sin, because it's in all of us. That's what we got grace for. The grace of Yahweh by Shimei Abishai, because we all sin. And if sin was the mark, there is no coming back from it. All right? There's no, oh, if you take the mark, don't worry. You can just pray to Yahweh Shai and you can get forgiveness of grace. No. Yeah, the judgment is certain. You take that mark, the judgment is certain. All right? It's doom for right. those that are going to worship the beast and receive his mark. Right. They're going to drink the wine of the wrath of Yahweh, the destruction, the judgment, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation, his righteous anger. Yes. And he shall be tormented with fire. And the scriptures is clear on that. Tormented with fire is talking about either the missiles or the chariots or both. And that's going to, the Lord himself said, behold, I come with fire. Luke 12 and 49. So we know what that means. You're going to come in them chariots and them chariots are going to uh, shoot laser beams of fire on the, on the infrastructure and on people. Killing people, man. Burning them up. Especially those that take this mark of the beast. And brimstone, the nuclear destruction. In the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. The Lord and the angels are going to celebrate your death if you take the mark. So right. how the hell can the mark be sin? Once again, sense. this doesn't make sense. Like he said, how the hell can the mark be sin? Doesn't make sense. All right, he doesn't understand. Well, well, he, no, he doesn't understand that scripture. But we believe he's being, uh, he's being uh, um, evas evasive with with the understanding. Probably because he's he's sold out, and he took that bag. You know, talking about Bishop Nathaniel. This guy is completely going off. Right. Let's listen to one more time before we shut this down. This guy's completely going off, family. Right, so I'm going to end it there. 
Hopefully you're edified. On to the next one.